What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Grim Total Edge. Today, we're going to get right into the latest boxes of a new set you've ever seen. Just kidding. Uh, but we are going to cut into this subcase of Throne of Eldraine. Throne. <laughs> Wilds of Eldraine Collectors. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Um, we're just going to do one box today, but, you know, we'll start with that. I haven't opened a single one of these. Uh, we just got back from vacation. I went to Glacier National Park. Might have seen some of the shorts by now. I'm not sure when this is going to release, but uh, it was a good time. It was a good time, but um, everybody else has already done been opening this. I feel like other people are on Double Masters 3 already. I'm behind, but some good cards in here. I want a Ristic Study. I want, uh, I want the Goose doubling season and the anime smothering tithies. So here we go. Uh, you know, purple boxes, purple packs, used to be the best packs. I don't, are these, are these considered purple or are they just purple striped? Anyways, I'm going to set this right here. We're going to start on the right hand side. Let's go. I've been hearing a little bit of rumbling that, uh, there's like some bad track printing on this. So it's like, it's really hard to hit like both Moonshaker and, um, you know, whatever other mythic, you know, they're, they're like not in the same track or something. Uh, I think these are Japanese print, so let's just rip into them here. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got Lich Knight's Conquest starting us out. Phyrexian Unlife. Okay. Hornlocked Whale. Giant Inheritance. All right, that's a commander card. On Enchant Creature gets 5-5. Five, five. Create a monster roll token. Ugh, I'm not a fan of the rolls. What do you guys think of the rolls? guess I'm just not into role-playing. Uh, the End. <laughs> And we got an intangible virtue, hatching plans. Ooh, the islands look a lot cooler in uh, foil than they do in regular. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Tattered Ratter, edge wall in. I think up the beanstalk is one of the only um, uncommons that's actually, I don't know if it's worth anything, but I've been hearing about it, so it's got to be doing something. Pack two. Yeah, so that was a... Uh, that was a cold start on that one, huh? Uh, confetti foils. Those are hard to hit, I hear. Food. Boom. Uh, Heart Flame Duelist. Deals three and instance. Oh, wow. Give yourself lifelink. That's kind of... I don't know if we needed that. Uh, copy Enchantment. Okay. So far, no anime cards. Ooh, Virtue of Persistence. All right. Let's make some room over here for Mythics. Here's our first mythic. Then we get the old Thunderous debut. Oh, yeah. The eight drop that uh, you can put the cards on the battlefield. So for eight, you can look at the top 20 cards of your library, pick two of them, and put... It's like a mini tooth and nail. I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad. Um, what are we doing with this? Okay. I guess you go there. Agatha. The Vile Cauldron, she seems pretty good. Ground Seal, pretty sure that used to be a rare. And Dark Tutelage, all right. So these these look really good out of the box, but I had one, I opened a single pack of this, and I got like the Blossoming Tortoise, and I mean, that thing looks like a Pringle already, so I don't know what happened there. Princess Takes Flight, I will say these Japanese, the card quality seems pretty good. Um... They do curl, man. Every, I don't know why they can't get that down. It's been like 30 years. You guys still can't fix curling? Ridiculous. Anyway, pack three. I'm glad these have the pull tabs, man. Because some of those ones where you have to super struggle. Oh, man. Mana Flare foil. Okay. Ooh, Kindred Discovery. Anime. Right on. <laughs> I don't, is that that get upshifted to a mythic though? Heart Flame Duelist again. Okay, so you go here. Court of Garenbrig. Um, you become the monarch for three. Distribute two one one counters on two target creatures. Then double the number one. Oh shit, that is good. Ooh, that's going in the Hydra deck for sure. Okay. Uh, pollen Shield Hair. Yeah, I like that. Dragon Mantle. The colors on these look so good. I hope the camera picks that up. 
Griffin Airy. All right, all right. And a, a Forest, which is Vanity, Sweet Tooth, Monstrous Rage, Johan's Shattering the Oath. All right, so Kinder Discovery is cool. But show me those titties. That's what we're all here for. All right. Food? Fraying Sanity. Okay, that's a couple. Uh, I wonder what the odds are. I didn't read the... Reading the pack explains the pack, but I didn't read it. Little Out of the Void. There's got to be some kind of odds on the, how often that's going to be in Enchanting Tales. Questing Druid. Not as good as Questing Beast, I'll tell you that. The Prodigy. Another X spell. Oh, a Skulk. Oh, that's kind of cool. These are, uh, I'm liking the X spells because um, I really got to get around to doing that Corvold deck wreck. It's like, I just need to do it. Um, but the next deck after that is either Gishath or the Hydras. I think it might be Gishath, but Stab Wound looking pretty good. These look better. It, um, these, I don't know what kind of art style that is. He's stabbing a jelly donut. That's hilarious. Um, but they look a lot better in person. Much like these basic lands. I don't know what they did on these ones, but the colors, man, they just pop. They look good. They just don't they curl bad. Soul Guide Lantern. Wow. Not dead after all. Into the Fey Court. All right. I'll have to read that up to Beanstalk card and see what it does when we get to it. But. Hey, guys, Ben. Ready for fall? Went out to Costco before we went to our vacation, and uh, they had Christmas stuff out. I was like, what the fuck? Sentinel of the Lost Lore. What do you do? That's a paragraph, man. Choose one or more. Return card in exile with an adventure to your hand. Card you don't own in exile on bottom of your library. Or exile target player's graveyard. Ooh. Kind of like that first part. Let you recast your, uh, your uh, adventure side. Leyline of Abundance. All right. Bivouac. Bivouac? Bivouac. That's weird. I don't understand the ox drover. Can't be blocked by oxen. While well, we trying to make another tribe. Target opponent creates... Okay, weird. Weird. Too long-winded and weird. Hilda's Crown of Winter. Tap target creature. Cost one less. Sacrifice it. Draw a card. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Roundabout, but sure could be good. Ooh, impact tremors looking good. With a non-foil stab wound. These cards still kind of like I just noticed they kind of smell like good and plenty. A little bit of black licorice smell to them. They're very reminiscent of the uh, Crimson Vow ink. That's why I noticed it. It could be older than that, but that's what I noticed it. That little ginger thing on the front is hilarious. Food! Ooh! Foil Rowan Scion of War. That looks dope. Okay. Karmic Justice. Ooh, a Virtue of Strength. Turn card, land, or creature from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, there's the Tripler. Yeah, the Mana Tripler. Good God. Raging Battle Mouse. The Conquest. Grasping at Fate. Ground Seal again. And more creepy looking swamp thingies. Three bowls of porridge. This one's too hot. This one's too cold. Alright, left side, best side, right? So we got five mythics and six packs. One anime card. Oh, yes. Let's just mangle that. Oh, yeah. I, I changed my... Uh, ooh, Dawn of Hope. All right. There's a foil there. Polluted Bonds anime. Okay. That's cool looking. It loses two life. I gain two life. All right. Ooh, Decadent Dragon. Don't mind seeing that. Can't remember where my thought process was there. Totally lost it. <laughs> Restless Cottage. Yeah, I, I completely lost that thought. I think I was going to say something about how the anime cards are hard to hit, and then we pulled one and just shut me the hell up. Ice out. 
What's the next set that comes out? Dr. Boo? I don't want none of that. It's not a real set. That's not a real set. I'm not, I, I refuse to acknowledge it as a real set. Um, don't timestamp this. I'm sure we'll be opening some of it because some of the cards are already way too powerful not to pay attention to. Um, so I'm sure we'll have to deal with that. But we'll get there when we get there. The colony is tangled. Okay. So that's there. Oversold Cemetery. Didn't we just have that? Ooh, the Otter. I can't wait to put this into some decks. I like the uh, the Grove's Bounty side. The Elusive Otter. I do like it. Asinine Antics. Cast it as though it had Flash if you pay two more. So for six, uh, you can create a Cursed Roll token. Attach that creature. I have to read what the Cursed Roll does. I don't know. The Bunnicorn. Right on. I like that too. I think that card could be better than it looks. Garuk's Uprising. And a season of growth. With that poppy ass planes in there. Tough cookie. Corvold and the Noble Thief. What are you? Create a treasure token. For one and two, for four here. Exile top three cards, your opponent's library. You can play them this turn. Eh, I don't know. So you get back two mana. So for two mana, you can just exile the top, and it takes three turns. I don't know. I don't know if I really care about the end of the, the third one. It's It's cool. To exile three people's or three cards from someone's deck, but I don't know. But then again, if you have a token doubler out there, then you're getting two uh, treasure tokens each time, so that kind of changes it a little bit. Food token, restless bibwag. Okay, with a ley line of sanctity there and a spire. Are they all uh, restless? Is that what's happening here? I don't know where you go. All right, Curse of Loch Thwain, what do you do? Another Monarch card? All right. Beginning of your upkeep, exile top card of opponent's library. You may play it for as long as it remains exiled, and mana can be spent. Okay, as if for any type. If you're the Monarch... Oh! Oh! That's kind of cool. So it's like a long-term, potentially free... Oh, I can't think of the name of the card right now. I can't think of the name. It's going to piss me off. We play it all the time in my group. We'll research your opponent's library. Praetor's Grasp. Frolicking Familiar. It's like a long-term, potentially free Praetor's Grasp. That's kind of cool. Sweet Tooth Witch. I really do. Like A lot of people complain about the foiling on these Japanese cards. I think they look pretty good. Like That or maybe they did change the ink. The colors are pop. Like they are the colors are pop. The colors are popping more than usual. Um, yeah, it could just be me. It might just be in a good mood. <laughs> Who knows? Restless vine stalks. So I guess they are all restless. Bibwack. Ley line of lightning. Ooh, we get a will scion a piece to match the the foil Rowan. Also in like the borderless kind of anime looking thing. That's cool. Court of Embreath. This one's another Monarch card, so all the, all the courts are Monarchs, obviously. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 3-1 token. And if you're the Monarch, it deals X damage, where X is the number of creatures you control. E. Some of these are kind of strong. Cruel Somnifage. Mill and four cards. You do that to yourself, too. Okay. Equal number of creature cards in all graveyards. Okay. I can get out of control. Excuse me. Knightly Valor. Grasp of Fate. Another Swamp. More dragons? Dragon wizard with ward? Get get the get out of here with that. Why does stuff have to have ward on it? That's ward seems a little too strong. Leaping ambush. I mean, then again. The only way to answer some of the stuff they've already printed is with stronger stuff, so it is what it is. We're kind of stuck with it, right? Okay. Last two packs. Even though there's a fucking pull tab, I'm still having issues. Oh yeah! So that's the thought I had earlier. I, I put up a new logo. Uh, I had a little gruff triplets. Had a little, um, ooh, smothering tithe, but not the anime one. Okay, okay, that's cool to hit though. Uh, I had a little survey up on the channel. Threw up. Uh, I got four or five different versions. Uh, the one I changed my emblem to is uh, the one that was the most powerful. Powerful. <laughs> Voted for. I've been hearing that Scalding Viper is kind of powerful, but I don't play anything besides EDH, so. I think it's more of a maybe a standard card. I don't know. Rotisserie Elemental. Rotisserie for real? Okay. There's that Scalding Viper. 
Uh, Menace. Okay, for one. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a skewer counter on it. Then you might sacrifice it. If you do, exile top X card your library or X is the number of skewer counters on Rotisserie Elemental. Oh, you may play those cards this turn. That's kind of cool for one, for uh, for those little burn decks that have a hard time drawing cards. Extraordinary Journey. All right. With a Compulsion and a Curiosity. Those two things don't go well together. You don't want to be curious and compulsive. That ends up bad. Candied apple. <laughs> right on. What do we got here? Last one. Last pack. If you guys haven't already, stuck around. Enjoy the content. Throw us a like. Throw us a subscribe. Leave a comment. Even if it's to talk shit. I just like I just like talking to people. It's cool. Ley line of anticipation. It's our last one there, and then we get an intruder alarm. Wow. Okay. This this uh, this slot's been pretty good, huh? Uh, twinning twins. That's not, it's not what you want to hit, but it's it's a card. Um, exile target non-token creature, return to the battlefield at the beginning of its next end step. A little blink action. Flying Vigilance, Ward 1, 4-4. Four, four. Jeez, all right. I mean, it's not a horrible card. Uh, expel the Interlopers. Destroy a, choose a number between 0 and 10. Destroy all creatures of power greater. So for a 5-drop, you can... All right, wow. 5-drop, you can destroy everything. Another 5-drop, kill everything spell. Sentinel of the Lost Lore, Spreading Seas, and Disease, Vampiric Rites, okay. With a forest that kind of looks like the swamp, except for it's green. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Picnic Ruiner, 